Hi guys, welcome back to my mommy's channel. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So this episode, we're taking you through how we styled a glueless wig for Shalom's birthday. This styling tutorial is very quick and easy. Yes, it's very quick and easy because the wig we're styling is actually mine. So I had to reduce it to her head size so that it so fits, but it's actually mine. So that's why we... I had to that's why I added a little amount of glue as you can see on the video my mom already did the pre installation prep uses shell and jam gel and a wig cap and inner wig cap precisely after doing the pre installation prep like Shalom explained I went in to apply some little amount of glue across her front hairs so because i needed glue to support the hair because as i explained earlier is my glueless wig that i thought to install for her shalom was super excited on this day because her birthday was in a few days and we scheduled this photo shoot for that afternoon she was so happy seeing her dress and her shoe and she was more excited when she discovered that I got a makeup artist for her to touch her face because Auntie loves makeup somehow. Not 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 like makeup makeup, but she actually loves to, the girly girly vibe. And yeah, it gave. Of course, if you follow me on Facebook or my WhatsApp or my Instagram, you'll see how I put up videos and pictures of her look. On the day of her photo shoot after applying the glue i give it some time to dry up while i go to check that the hair is in a good condition and also ready to style After a few minutes, as you can see, I left the camera on so you see the drying process of the glue. I decided to apply makeup on the wig cap because the wig cap is actually showing plain yellow and it also reflects under the lace if I don't change the color. So I just used makeup to touch it a bit, although it wasn't really, um, the color didn't change totally. But at least it affected the results under the lace. And I also applied makeup on the lace because I and Shalom's color are quite different. I can't say for a fact who is lighter. I think I'm lighter or she's lighter. Please let me know in the comment section who you feel is lighter between me and Shalom. But I thought so um apply makeup on the lace too so it can blend with her skin color
so at this point we're ready to lay the lace on her head and then i brought the wig out and then did some little um brush at the front and this is me showing you what the wig looks like before placing it on her head so this wig is already um pre-bleached we already used hot comb on it and the rest of it so it's already giving scalp so the only thing left is for it to be laid and ensure it sticks to shalom's scalp that's it then it was time to wear the wig on her head so look how this wig is looking all sumptuous it was actually a struggle because i don't know i think i tightened the band too much that it couldn't fit on her head but we definitely um got to the bottom of it we definitely placed it on her head it was actually a struggle like real time struggle i cut some parts out of this video because i was pushing 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 and it couldn't it didn't it refused to go through go forward it refused to go forward because of her because the band was a bit tighter so but yeah we pulled through At this point we successfully laid the wig on her head and this is me ensuring that um everything is placed well and using my one single to ted comb to no my tight to ted comb to brush it all back and i also asked her to hold the two edges because her head cannot measure to my head so the wig is well i said lace the lace scalp is bigger than her hair so she, so we had to reduce it and then i introduced a bean bond spray so this is the the spray that is going to hold it together so i don't need to add any extra glue or anything else i just use this ebbing spray and after applying the ebbing spray i used comb to ensure that all the single strands go backwards so that after tying the lace the result coming out will be excellent so i had to use the the comb to brush it back mind you we're not going for a perfect perfect installation we just wanted something different the concept of the photograph is what we're trying to achieve a full hair a, a black princess in a full hair and a white gown a white ball dress but this is not a ball dress it's just, we use the gown though but that was the concept we we're going for and that was what we needed we did not need a perfect perfect installation that is why we didn't bother styling her both ear corners After applying a bean spray and setting the hair to the best form, I introduced the band. So I used the hair band to tie it a bit loose because I wouldn't want her to start screaming of headaches. So I didn't tie it so tight. She was even telling me, Mommy, don't tie it so tight. If you tie it tight, I'll remove it. And we're all laughing. You can see the laugh from her eyes.
like i said we aimed at a particular concept for this photo shoot so the concept had like a side parting i just did i just gave a c cut although a c cut wasn't what we saw on the internet the concept we used the baby didn't have uh, will i say baby it's not a guy baby the young no she's not a young lady she's still a baby <laughs> she's still a baby the baby didn't have um a full side part the baby had um i don't even know how to describe it i think i'll just scream munch the picture and add here so you can see After giving the cut we wanted, I used the white tilted comb to comb the wig. It's actually a body wave wig, so I wanted a fuller volume. So I used the white tilted comb to give that full volume I needed. And then I went in to use an ultra styling muse to style the front part of the hair, just so it lays properly and it's sleek. After applying, I used the comb to define the styles and then of course I used my um, wide toothed comb to also give it a fuller volume again because like I said, we want a full volume for this concept. Afterwards, I introduced the hot comb. And T was so afraid. She was like, ah, it should not bomb you. I said, don't worry, it won't bomb you. Just be calm. So, and she was actually, <laughs> she was actually calm. So I used the hot comb to lay the front of the hair so that the fitting comes out. As you can see, the wig is giving scalp. Like, looking at it, it looks like I'm actually working on my daughter's hair. Not actually a wig. After using the hot comb on it, I decided to loosen the band to see what we got. And this is it. This is what we have. The wig is laying perfectly on her head. I'll further proceed to touch up the front line a bit and then do the final styling. As for this, the lace, the lace is, I did not use my lace melt on this. Like I said, it's just a one day shoot. So I wouldn't want to use too many products or would I say waste too many products on this style because after now she's taking it off. So we're going to use foundation during her makeup to blend the lace or, or we're going to use makeup during her makeup section. We're going to use some of the makeup to blend the lace with her skin but yeah this is what it looks like this is what the final look came out to be and we went for the photo shoot we took the pictures and my daughter looked adorable from her hair to her makeup to her dress to everything man when you have a 
millennial mom or a Gen Z mom or I don't know, or a zillennial mom. <laughs> I don't know, but when you have a mom who knows what is trending and who follows the trend, this is the look you get. And she was super excited and happy and proud that, oh, mommy, I love my birthday pictures. My friends were commending, blah, 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 blah. And even when we even got to the studio, some people at the studio were even saying, oh, your daughter's hair is fine. Who made it? Who have it? Who this? Who that? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. You can say that again. I'm here. This is me. Yeah, so that this was how we achieved the look for Shalom's birthday. And I'm definitely going to add the pictures to the end of this video so you can see what the final pictures look like. She was really, really, really adorable. Yeah. Trust me, cameras didn't do justice to nothing. If you had seen my daughter real life, you definitely want to kidnap her. <laughs> I used the hot comb again to define the styling so that it sleeps and it's sleek and it's everything it needs to be. And yeah, this was the end of her birthday styling. And Auntie was smiling sheepishly. I don't know, let me raise this video up a bit. So you can see her bright smile. She was super excited for the birthday shoots ahead. I took some time to show you all the size and how the hair came out to be. We ended up styling the left ear side because we're going to push that side of the hair backwards in the photo shoots following the concept so we ended up styling that a bit and then the other side we let it free so this is the hair and this is my child after makeup so hair makeup everything on fleek yeah thank you for watching